Hi, this is Donna, and I wanted to share my latest mini album with you. You'll have to excuse my desk, it's messy, but I was requested to make a sports mini album for a friend's grandson. And he's going to be starting first grade this next year, and his mother has enrolled him in soccer, so I picked soccer. But evidently, he comes from a very long line of sports family, um, golfing, any kind of ball, um, bicycle riding, swimming, I mean, you name it, and I guess that family has done it. But since I am not a sports-minded person, I thought this is going to be kind of hard because I know nothing about sports, I know nothing about the lingo, I know nothing about nothing. But after I got into it, it kind of went a little better than I had hoped. So I was very pleased with the outcome. So I took, and I don't like the paper, but there wasn't any paper out there for soccer, let alone any other ones that I liked, because I guess that's not my thing. But I think it turned out really nice for a non-sports person. But anyway, I had s several sheets of stickers, like flat stickers or 3D stickers, and um, so I used the soccer one, and I put um, glossy accents on it to help make it a little sturdier than it was going to be normally. And then I took this little soccer ball and put glossy accents on it also to, and popped it up. And his name is Lucas. So I took, spelled Lucas out with the Scrapple squares and uh, the little Scrapple tiles and then blinged it up with some black pearl bling. Um, even if it was a boy, I was going to have to do something because you have to put something on your mini albums or they just don't look right, I don't think. So I thought that bling turned out really cute. And then I tried Tamika at Scrap the World, her binding on her mini albums, and I really liked it because I had started one binding uh, cover, and the corners here had already started splitting, and I hadn't even put the pages in yet, and I was not getting very happy over that. So I went and did Tamika's binding, and I really liked that. So I will be doing that more often, so thanks to Tamika. And then I used shoelaces, I thought that was very appropriate, to tie it. And then I used this black mesh ribbon that I had to help cover the seam in the back. And then the back is just plain. I used my stamp, Memories Preserved by Donna, this little uh, stamp here. And then the closure, I had I had done the whole book and never even thought about closure, the closure. So last night, I woke up in the middle of the night. I'm like, that's what I'll do. So I went and did it like a tennis shoe, you know, just like a little sports shoe, and um, crisscrossed it. And I think that turned out really cute. So, you know, you're not going to be opening and closing it every single day constantly. And once she puts the pictures in and looks at it a few times, they'll probably sit there, you know, for a while in between. So it's not going to be a problem to do that. And so I went and put three eyelets on the front and on the back so it gives it a little bit more of a crisscross tennis shoe look. So I liked the way that turned out. And so and I didn't have to remove too many of the little blings to do it, so that even was even better for me. So I will show you the inside, and it doesn't take long to undo it because the holes are big, and it's just it doesn't take that long at all to lace it up or whatever you're going to do, lace it up or unlace it. So the first page I just left blank has this big picture opportunity here. Um, put one big picture, a bunch of little baby pictures. Then I did this page and let the paper help me decorate it. And I put some gold bling balls here. This was a flat 
sticker and I blinged it up with stickles on the whistle. I put two little tags. What This one says Treasured Moments and it's blank on the back. This one has the journaling spot with blank. And um, I edged the corners around the edges with green like it was grass stained. And she's got a big picture placed back there or across here. Then this page was grass and I had some stickers that were tennis shoes or soccer shoes and I backed them with cardboard and blinged them with some stickles and used this for a little place to hold the tag. This is our team and so I thought that held the tag very well. A big old picture spot there. This one again, I let the paper help me decorate. Put a strip that said gold, gold, gold. And then put a bling in the yellow um, to help brighten that page up. And then I had three tags. This one has a water bottle. It says treasured moments. And then I had the little soccer balls. Um, like flat back soccer balls that I put on both sides to decorate that tag. And then this one it says live each season as it passes. I have a foul sticker and then playing on that I have the soccer ball buttons on there. And then this one I just put a flag. I don't know what that was but it was with the group. And put a journaling spot. And then this is I had a soccer ball rubber stamp that came in handy for me. And then of course a big spot back there for pictures. And then I thought that was cute. This came with a kit and it's, it says kick me. And so the black, I took the, the distressed ink pad and I kind of just stamped across it. And you can't really tell but when you look at it, it's Distressed. There's dark spots and light spots. And then I took the um, glossy accents and put it over the top to help make it sturdy. It's not a pocket. It's totally glued down. She has plenty of room around here to put pictures. And then I used the soccer balls for the dots over the eyes. And then this ball here was attached to kick this. So I went and did the same. I put the glossy accents around the black parts and then I put the um, stickles in the white. So she can put pictures here or pick pictures in the middle of the white. And then I did another tag with the soccer ball stamp and a journaling spot and plain. And then a big picture spot there. And then this idea here came from a woman on YouTube and I will put her name at the bottom of this screen when I start to download but this woman here that I made this mini for has ordered several minis from me and I don't like repeating myself so I wanted to do something different and I found this idea and I thank her for uh, sharing with us but she put hinges on photo mats. So I put some bling on here so that they would know what photo mat went on top so that it would blend in. I put number one with the bling and a photo mat, photo mat. Goes flips up and there's hinges, photo mat, photo mat, photo mat here and there. And then flip that up and a big photo mat on the back. On the, on the paper itself. So I really like that idea. So um, thanks again for sharing that with us. I really like that cool idea. And then this right here sticker I used as a pocket. And I put four tags to give her more space for pictures and whatnot. This is on the field. Memories in the making. This one says goal, and then I put the goal with a soccer ball with journaling spot. And I used black grow grain ribbon on these tags. This one's all star. This is good times. And then I also edged it with grass stains. <laughs> and then that's journaling spot. 
And then this side says, remember, the ability is what you are capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do. Attitude determines how well you do it. So I thought that would go good with playing games. So she has a big old photo opportunity on the back page there. Then this would be a great picture frame. And I just popped up kick. And then this goal is a um, another t a sticker. And I just made it a little pocket. And I made this little sticker, teeny tiny sticker. And it go, I mean little tag. And it pops in here. It's a little tight, but I think with a little in and out usage, it'll kind of wear into that one best. Use that for a little pocket. Then the next page, I just left the page the way it was and put this sticker goal on there with a little soccer ball. So she has a big space for pictures. And I think this was called a coin envelope. And I did the grass stain around there and put the trophy and game face popped up. And then another little uh, tag with my soccer ball stamp and just left spaces for pictures and then also she has space all the way around to put more pictures and this one I just left all star I just put all star tag on there sticker and then put the two star buttons and then bling those and those two stars up with stickles to kind of bring them out a little bit then this page here just had the soccer ball shirt with the gloves and the shoes and I just blinged up the soccer ball on the shirt with some stickles and gives her more space here to put pictures. Then the last page I just left a pair of dirty old tennis shoes here or soccer shoes and put kick down here so she has this big old space here to put pictures and a big old space there to put pictures. So I really think it turned out for a non-sports person. And I hope that she likes it. And thanks for watching. Frog hugs.